4th November 2018 Sunday. Today is day 2 of hospitalization for this one year of May Rovorowski hamster. This hamster came yesterday with a big lump on the chest area below. So we did the surgery yesterday. Wait, we see the lump first. Now the lump we can see from here. Okay. I will go to the block. The lump will be the photo from the owner. The owner sent a photo. I don't know why I don't have oh here it is. Okay, this is before surgery. You can see that uh, this is the lump from the owner's photo and you can see it's a big very big abdominal lump okay a big abdominal lump so the the, the owner was worried that uh, the lump is getting worse you can see the skin is bruised here because of the friction with the floor so the owner came this actually is a 1.5 years old the Roborowski dwarf hamster okay so now we see the video post up okay now let's see here uh, straight up like that now okay this is how many one hour of the operation one hour one of the operation mm. zolatil anesthesia was given mm. with some gas isoprene gas if the hamster survives the surgery there is a stitch area See, survived this surgery. And it looks quite good. So, the so tail, if, if given normally, it should be okay. Where's the tumor itself? You see, the tumor is multiple nodules, you see? And large of it, you can see it's really looks very bad, like cancer, like that, cancerous. Huh? So many nodules. And uh, this was done by taking out undermining the skin. The skin itself was cut by using electrosurgery. And after cutting the skin, the pair of scissors was used to undermine the skin and to get these nodules out. Okay, so now we look at the hamster. Below, after, after uh, 24 hours of the surgery. Now this robot skin is very fast, so we don't take it out. And you can see the area, the black area actually was originally was the bruised area. The skin was already very uh, uh, badly inflamed and damaged. And so the 24 hour surgery, the skin itself looks like gangrenous. Huh? That has nothing to do with the surgery was already there due to the owner being uh, slow to the sick treatment. Did the stitch break down? Uh, yeah, the one, one stitch mm. from no. the top. On top, yeah, on the top. So the best is we try and get one uh, e-collar for the hamster, okay, and uh, try it. Otherwise, they will bite off all the stitches and there will be a big hole, okay, and it will die post-op. Any more here? Let's see there. Even though it's very difficult to give stitches, but uh, uh, give e collar, but it's best to do it now, uh, at least for a few days. Now I, I will show the the results of the surgery here in this slide. This image, huh? You can see there the bruised area was already here. There you can see there the the left side. So it's good to take photographs uh, so that you can confirm with the owner that this was not due to uh, surgery eh? this was due to the skin being inflamed before the surgery and uh, this side is a normal skin you see so just now you can see that half half of the body is black black is this side that's because the blood vessels all had been 
damaged by the tumors. So this side likely is going to break down. So I think we will just put the e collar on. And although it is not easy, but I think it can be done. And the owner has to feed antibiotics orally. Now, what else is there? Is there any more photos? No more. No more, I think. Yeah. So I just uh, just show this uh, successful successful uh, surgery using solar tail plus a bit of isofluorine top up to operate on this hamster. Now, of course, many uh, vets will not uh, want to operate on this type of cases because it's really a uh, uh, very high risk high risk cases high risk because of too many tumours so for owners it's best to find a vet which who can operate on hamster tumours so that's the end of the